Um, just getting ready for games and preparing for games, you know. You know, what we do is uh, we have the best jobs in the world, you know, doing your passion for a living. So when it ends like that, you start thinking about all, all the, the the whole year. So um, give credit to the Celtics first off. I mean, they're an incredible team. They got a chance to do some big things the rest of the playoffs, and they played amazing. Not that you need any extra motivation, but the season ended the way that it, it did. The East is getting stronger. The league in general, young players is stepping up. How much fuel does this add, or how unique is the fuel being added to your fire right now? I mean, I just focus on me. I mean, I see what's going on around the league. I mean, everybody's – it's a great time to be in our leagues. A lot of talent, a lot of skill, but – at the end of the day, I just focus on being the best that I can be and adding it to the group, whatever, whatever the group is. Um, you know, but it's, the league is growing fast and so many great players, and we got to be right there, you know, uh, with the pack if we want to be a contending team. So we got a lot of work to do. Kevin, when you look at a series that was as lopsided as this was, do you look at Boston and just say, hey, that's a team that's – they're younger, they're longer, they're more athletic, and look at it as a physical thing? Or do you look at this and say, we weren't together long enough, we weren't together enough on the court, we didn't have the cohesion we needed, and this is on us? I mean, we can all just, we got it's a lot of stuff that may factor in to why we lose, but like, they were just a better team. I mean, they're just a better team. I mean, we, they played that way, you know. We, uh, this is the best defense in the league, right? I mean, for most of the series, we I mean, the whole series, we shot over 50%, 40 from the three. What, turnovers, offensive rebounds, straight line drives really killed us, you know? Standing in front of their guys, they had bigger guys that, you know, we look up and Seth Curry or Dragic is boxing out a seven-footer. They're playing hard, but they're just smaller, you know, and why the bigs out on the perimeter on the switch guard and the guard, you know. So it's a lot of stuff that happened throughout the series that just didn't work in our favor. And But I like the way uh, we tried to come together towards the end of the season and salvage what was lost, you know, with guys being injured, guys being traded, just, you know. So once we finally got together, we had a mission and wanted to make the playoffs and see what kind of noise we can make. And, we didn't make any noise, but we got to the playoff. Kevin, obviously this is going to be the last time we talk to you until the beginning of next season. I mean, when you look at the guys that you have on the roster for next season, it's you, Kai, Ben, Joe, Seth, Patty, probably Nick or Bruce. I mean, what do you think about that roster going forward? And then after this series, what do you guys, or what do you think that you guys maybe need to add to that roster to be able to compete? Christian, you know, it's, we just got done playing. Like, I, but I, you, I, you know, I don't, I don't know the answers to those questions, to that question right now. I mean, isn't isn't Bruce free agent? Isn't Patty a free agent too? Like I don't, I don't know the situations with the contracts or who we, you know. I just don't know. And I, I mean, obviously, when losing in playoffs, you're looking forward to next year and seeing who could be on the team. I know there's a lot of high expectations around the net, so. People want to have some hope of what may happen in the future, but at this point, two hours, an hour after the game, I'm, it's hard for me to say. Um, I'm sure you'll get some info here in the next few weeks or next month or so. Uh, with draft coming up in June, you know, so it's right around the corner. Oh. Kevin, if you look at this year, and even if you want to go back to last year, I mean, just how many of you guys' problems do you think stem from the injuries and the attrition and, and the lack of continuity versus some of the stuff you're saying? Like the personnel and the the size issues and whatnot. Yeah, I wish we were more healthy as a group. I wish we had more continuity as a group. But that's just the league. That's just every team goes through that. You know, you can definitely use those things as a you know just to gauge what kind of team we had and the reason why we lost games, but. Um, I mean, it's hard to pinpoint just one or two things. I think you know, it's a lot of stuff that happened throughout the season. I needed need you know, that you need to go well in order for you to be a good team, and a lot of things didn't go our way. 
Kevin, expectations were high this year. Does that make this loss more difficult to absorb? Mm. I mean, it's tough to lose. I mean, end of your season. I mean, we love doing what we do, you know. So not being able to get up and go to the gym every day is going to be a shock for us the first few weeks. And then we're going to go and enjoy our summer, keep getting better, and, and do this whole thing again. It's a real, it's a cycle, you know, for us. So, um, you know, we had our expectations. Everybody had our expectations for us. A lot of stuff happened throughout the season that derailed us. But I'm proud of how we just kept fighting and kept, you know, keeping the faith. And every day was trying to work towards something, you know. You could take that away from the season. With those expectations and stuff, I'm sure losing always hurts. But when you had, you know, you and Kyrie and James Harden, is there almost a little extra regret that you don't see something like that very often, what you guys had put together and you just didn't capitalize on it? No regrets. I mean, shit happens. You know, no crying over spilled milk. It's about how we can progress and get better from here. I mean, we see and we've been through, you know, a lot this year. Everybody in the organization knows what we went through, you know. So no need, no time to feel regret or be too pissed off about how can we find solutions to get better, proactive as an organization to get better. Even the great teams, they don't dwell on what they do. They just try to continue to keep getting better. So for us, we know where, we, where our mistakes were. And we just try to, you know, make tournament the strength. Um, but we can't have no regrets on what we did. Shit just played out the way it played. Kevin, to that point, how much of all the things that you guys dealt with off the floor impacted the team and the product on it? Guys been in and out the lineup. We injured. Uh, Seth came over with an ankle injury, so he was in and out the lineup. Goran had got COVID at the wrong time. Kyrie in and out the lineup. I was gone for six months. I mean, that hurts any team, not having your main guys out on the floor. And that's tough for any coaching staff to build continuity or build a chemistry or system around your players when they are in the lineup. So everybody had to uh, step outside of their normal roles as uh, players, as coaches, as executives to do some stuff to kind of mask what was going on with our, with our organization. I think it's a great effort by everybody to try to, like I said, you know, bring this thing together and do something special. Um, but a lot of stuff out of People's control um, that happened this year, and, uh, but we still put ourselves in uh, gave ourselves the opportunity to compete for a championship by being in the playoffs. So, um, you know, it was uh, once the regular season ended and once the playoffs started, it was good. It was cool to kind of reset and start over. You get what I'm saying? So, this summer is gonna be a very, very important summer for our organization, and we'll see where we go next year. Just to be clear, do you think that Steve is still the right guy to lead this group? I mean, come on, man. Like, yeah, like, Steve has been dealt a crazy hand the last two years. Like, he been had to deal with so much stuff as a head coach, first-time coach, and trades, injuries, you know, COVID, just a lot of stuff he had to deal with, you know. I'm proud of how he just focus and his passion for us. And, uh, you know, we all, you know, continue to keep developing over the summer and see what happens. Katie, um, how much did the past year of everything that you've gone through as a player, Olympics this season, taking a physical and emotional toll on you? And secondly, do you plan on having input with personnel decisions as the franchise player? Uh, I don't, I don't uh, no, I felt great this year. I didn't feel like the extra minutes for the Olympics did anything. I felt I felt amazing this whole season, physical wise, outside of my MCL. Um, but I didn't feel fatigued. I didn't feel I didn't feel any of that. Um, 
And yeah, of course. I mean, I want to know who I'm playing with out on the floor. You know, I want to know um, what we're thinking. I mean, Sean and the front office, all of us, we just talk basketball regardless because we enjoy basketball. So sometimes our team may come up and what we may need and what I see um, from a player's perspective. And we always had conversations. That's what makes great organizations.